a couple weeks ago, I did a review for the Extreme line of foods. And there's another food I've been testing that I want to talk about. And it's been out for a bit, but this is a different version. We're going to talk about Fluval's flake version of the Bug Bites. Hello everyone, this is Bentley. And today we're going to do a quick food review. We talked about Extreme recently. And we're going to talk about another one of my favorite foods, but it's flake version. As you guys know, I am an absolute hound for flake food as opposed to granule. And that's this stuff here. I got a little tin just to make it cute, but this is the Fluval Bug Bites Flake. So as you guys know, I like the Fluval Bug Bites quite a lot. Um, I have a couple different versions of it that are in my repertoire of food. A while back, Fluval sent me a bunch as a thank you for, uh, <laughs> I guess just like the popularity of my light video, which that's all because of you guys, so thank you so much. And I gave it all away because <laughs> I didn't feel right keeping it. I thought it was more appropriate to give it back to you wonderful folks because, well, that's the reason it showed up at my house was because of you. Recently got a hold of this stuff last year, um, this particular small tin. I've got another bigger tin that I've been using. Let me talk about like what's really, what's really neat about this stuff and what you might go, who cares, right? <laughs> There's kind of like both. So the biggest thing is that if you really like Fluval bug bites in the granule and you wanted a flake form, it's this. There's basically no difference. There's a small difference because there's some binders and stuff. We talked about fish food stuff in this live stream that's up in the corner. Check it out. The first part is all about flake food and or, or food in general and just understanding like if a food is good or not. So why is this special as I look down at it? Why is it special? The big thing is the number one ingredient is black soldier fly larva. So it's an insect larva. Our fish eat a lot of insects, especially our tropical fish, in the wild. So having an insect-based diet is kind of up the alley. Number two, the big reason why this matters is it's incredibly sustainable. Things like krill, um, brine shrimp, well, brine shrimp's a different story, but like krill and your fish meal-based stuff, it's not necessarily as easily sustainable. It can be kept sustainably, but not every manufacturer of a food does it in a sustainable fashion. Whereas black soldier fly larva is incredibly sustainable. And it's a very, very nice protein source. Is there a thing that like makes it, this is incredibly better than the, the other bug bites? It's just the form. That's really what it comes down to. Uh, let me open my tin up and try and get you to see inside. You can see there, it's kind of a pale green. There's no like artificial nonsense that are in these things or preservatives, which is one of the nice parts. But it's a smaller flake. It doesn't come very big. So the nice part is you don't really have to grind it very hard or do a lot of work. Um, I, I keep a small tin like this off of my big tin just here for this particular tank. This tank gets bug bites in the flake form every single day, usually with something else mixed in for uh, the quarries and stuff like that, but also the rainbows that are in there. And then a few other, a few other tanks uh, also get this food, much like the extreme krill flake. Every fish that I fed this food to just goes hog wild for it. They hit it immediately. It's a lot like the krill flake in that it, it floats pretty well, and when it does sink, it sinks nice and slow. So for your topwater fish, they're going to have a good opportunity to get to it. If you wanted to get it to your bottom-dwelling fish, I would say look at the actual like regular bug bites because those sink quite a bit faster. But this stuff is really, really nice if you're like me and you think flake food as your staple food or your prepared food as opposed to frozen or live is just better for your particular style of feeding your fish. What's the downside to this food? It can be a little expensive. Uh, the big tin of it's like $16 whenever I bought it locally at a store. But a lot of the formulas are there. So if you like the color enhancing formula, there's the color enhancing. If you like just the regular community tropical flake, there's the tropical flake. If you want some of the other varieties, they're there. Otherwise, most of the other ones that are better off in a granule are already in a granule. Just stick to those. Uh, beyond that, like bug bites is just a really good food. It has a really high protein volume. It's pretty well made as far as the ingredients that are in it. It doesn't have too many binders or fillers. It's, it's not like, it's certainly not Wardley's, <laughs> but you know, I think it's one of those things where if I was to be mixing my foods together, I think mixing this stuff with a little bit of krill, with some krill flake and a little bit of spirulina as like a, your own blend of a tropical food that you could just feed every day if you made your own mix 
would be really good. Or some other kind of veggie flake other than spirulina to get a little bit of veg and a little bit of high protein all mixed together and something that most fish are going to take to just right away. This would be pretty lights out. I'm actually going to be making my own personal blend for the future that is a mix of this and a mix of the extreme krill <laughs> and with a small amount of a veggie flake that's mixed in as kind of my like personal just feed it to everything and not care flake but most of the fish i keep rainbow fish and some of the guppies they all appreciate a higher protein food and this just like some of those other foods is really really good because it's primarily based out of like insects or in the other case krill which are a high protein source and really, really good for our fish. Is there really anything to like rant and rave about? No, this is just easily available pretty much everywhere. Amazon, local fish stores. If, you're, if your fish store carries Fluval products, almost guaranteed they're carrying this food. If they had bug bites, almost guaranteed they picked up the flake. And if they haven't, go talk to them and ask them to pick it up. Honestly, I think that I like this stuff more than the regular granules, and I like the granules a lot. I entered a, I entered a contest showing my big community rainbow tank just going absolutely nuts on the original like community uh, granule version. It's basically what this is now, the tropical. And everything I've ever fed that just eats it so fast. Even really timid fish eat it fast. So there's something, right, to be said for that. I think that, like, you can talk all you want about, like, this is the highest quality food out there. It's made of the best ingredients possible. We're a new life spec. I mean, uh, <laughs> not to throw anybody on the bus, but, like, your North Fins and your New Life Spectrums, they, they tout quality, they tout quality, they tout quality. I have seen fish not touch their food. This? And that krill flake? My fish go wild for this stuff i absolutely wild they will not leave it alone until it's gone and they'll pick at the substrate fish that normally do not like my angel fish will go picking at the substrate for the leftovers of this stuff because they like it that much i've not seen a lot of my fish do that on some of the other foods i feed including some of the foods i like quite a lot nope they don't do that this stuff oh yeah oh yeah no anything that's left it gets gobbled it's found by somebody, and you can tell they like it. There's something There's something that's just triggering that, that fishy brain that goes, this stuff's really good for us. Yum. Right? And that's important to me. I care more about how fast my fish try to eat the food and how completely they eat a food, even if I overfeed it, than I do about going, well... This company told me it is the highest possible ingredients, but my fish aren't really eating it. Like, I tried Sarah Vipan for a while, and it was like 50-50 on the tanks that would eat it. Certain tanks loved it. Other tanks would not touch it. My angelfish would not touch it. The guppies didn't really like it all that much. A lot, like, the fry wouldn't try to go for it, and the adults kind of, like, lazily ate it. The SAEs that were in there for a while ate it like crazy. But a lot of my fish ignored it. I haven't had a single fish ignore this yet. That tells me something. And while I think that that Sarah Vipan is a nice food for specific things, it is never going to get the praise and appeal from me to where I will just keep buying this stuff. Like, much like how I rant and rave about how I'm just going to keep buying the krill flake, this is the other food that I buy. And I might try, like, some of the other formulas because I've tried the other formulas in the granule version and I like those, so having them in a flake is right up my alley. But this particular, the tropical version, because of the fish I keep, I keep rainbows. Come on, guys. We'll keep up here, right? <laughs> this stuff's just really, really awesome. So with that being said, this is a really short, simple video. It's just me kind of fanboying for something I like. And you can be like, Bradley, all you ever do is fanboy over Fluval products. Oh, are they paying you? No, I like them a lot. I certainly wouldn't mind if they would. But uh, I have a good relationship with some of the Fluval folks, if only because... They've been recommending some of my videos without me even knowing it until some of you wonderful people told me, which is very, very flattering. But I just like the products that I use. Like, you've heard me talk about how I like the Tidal Filter by Seachem more than I like the AquaClear, which is Fluval's filter. Uh, but I love Fluval lights, and I love bug bites. There's other stuff from Fluval that I just kind of go, eh? I think there are better versions out there of that type of product. But what I like... I'm going to preach about. Why? Because I like it. <laughs> it's like, usually, people either do one of two things. They either really like something, they talk about it a lot, or they really hate something, so they talk about it a lot. Well, guess what? I really like this stuff. 
and I can talk your ear off about how much I am unsatisfied with Sarah since they've changed the formula on ONIP tabs. I know, I know. Don't start that rant again. I'm sorry. I'm going to find somebody who'll make me some, though. I'm going to do it. I'm working on it. All right. So with that being said, what I'd love to hear in the comments, have you tried the Fluval Bug Bite Flake versions? Which variety have you tried? If you have, if not, What's your favorite of the bug bites you've tried in the regular granule form? I'd love to hear down in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, give it a little like, maybe even share it to somebody who's trying to figure out like, what fish foods should I buy? It really helps the channel. It's the best possible way to make any channel grow is like, like, comment, subscribe, and share stuff. Who would have thought it triggers the magic YouTube algorithms that makes them as happy as I am about this dumb stuff. <laughs> Dumb little things that make me really, really happy about my fish tanks. For those of you who aren't subscribed, maybe consider, if you like, getting a little product reviews, being taught about different things, whether it's my recent series in Substrate 101, the Fertilizer 101, or soon to be coming the ultimate guide to the Fluval 3.0 lights. Subscribe, ring that little bell, make sure you don't miss anything. We'll have all sorts of videos over the corners, all that kind of stuff. Make sure that you get to enjoy some of the stuff that I've done in the past. Lessons on plants, there's more of those coming, all that kind of good stuff. Great reason to subscribe. Also, helps the channel a ton. Just saying. Just saying. <laughs> For those of you who uh, are tired of hearing me babble about products, I'm like, I want to hear more about blah. Don't worry, it's coming. Just put it in the comments and it gets done. I have a big list of stuff I want to do. I can only do so much at a time, but it's coming. But if you can't say that answer and you're like, how dare you not do it right now? You can hit the thumbs down twice. I'll understand. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And stay awesome. Do little after video short. That's it. I just love this stuff. <laughs> uh, so seriously, after video short here real fast. Um, I got some cool fish in that... Do not eat this. Actually, the only one of these foods that I'm not a big fan of, and it's only because that one particular fish won't touch it, is the algae discs. But in general, I'm not a fan of algae waivers because most of the things that I would feed that to, I would rather feed them zucchini or rapashi. Or, and there's a rapashi review coming soon. Uh, somebody specifically asked for one in the comments, so they're getting it because I like reviewing stuff I've been using for an eternity and enjoy. <laughs> Uh, but we'll talk about the, the particular ones I like and so like the, my secret sauce mixtures that I make. Uh, and then beyond that, very soon we'll have the Ultimate Guide to Fluval lighting coming out. I want to thank KB Ozzy, the Rainbow Fish Level, the one true hero in the members and Patreon. <laughs> Not that there aren't plenty of others, but just everybody who is a member or a Patreon, thank you so much for your support. Uh, doing that during this extremely extended human malware is uh it's very humbling to somebody like me who is kind of fortunate in the fact that i'm you know i'm doing okay there's a lot of people hurting right now so if you are in a situation to where you're not doing so well kill your membership seriously please don't i'm i'm okay <laughs> i want you guys to take care of yourselves i just love being able to take this part of my hobby produce awesome stuff try to teach you guys things have interaction in live chats when it comes to the tuesday night live streams it's just the stuff that like makes every one of my days a great day so thank you so much. Like, comment, subscribe, all that about YouTube stuff. <laughs> this is like the one part about YouTube I hate, but you know what? Gotta, gotta do it. Gotta, gotta feed the algorithm. <laughs> As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. And stay awesome.